So welcome back here to the 2011 European Battle.net Invitational. We're moving on to the World of Warcraft tournament sponsored by Intel, Nvidia, and of course Steel Series as well. So as you mentioned, let's bring in the first team. That team, Showtime. Give them a big round of applause. <laughs> to the championship bracket final. How was your tournament so far? Was it difficult or was it quite an easy road? Uh, it was actually an easy road. We got lucky with the brackets and uh, we got here pretty easily. But we're feeling confident though. Także zapytanie było czy do tej pory do finału ciężko było się dostać. Odpowiedź mi nie było łatwo. Mieliśmy szczęście z drabinką, także było dość łatwo, ale Mamy dobre nadzieje, spodziewamy się, że wygramy. So this game coming up against Victorinox, you said you're feeling really confident and so far it was an easy road. Are you expecting an easy victory here as well then? Well, uh, I'm not underestimating uh, their team, but uh, I think we can take the series, yeah. Well, we'll let you get sat down and uh, get things sorted. So a big round of applause once again, showtime! So, we'll try not to make that happen again for the next team. Obviously, Showtime need an opponent. That opponent is going to be Victorinox. Give him a warm welcome. So, Zotan, we've just heard there from your opponents. They said it was an easy way to this stage of the tournament. Was it the same for you? No, it really wasn't. We had a really tough games, and their, their, their opponents were really easy. But we, we did well, and we came here. So what are you feeling? <laughs> Sorry, Carla. I <laughs> promised I won't do it. All right. Uh, także pytanie również o, o to, czy e, droga do finału była prosta, e, tak jak w przypadku ich przeciwników. Odpowiedź mi, że nie, że mecze były bardzo, bardzo ciężkie, a owszem, e, właśnie przeciwnicy, którzy sobie już usiedli, Mieli drabinkę łatwą, ale mimo wszystko są tutaj i dadzą się wszystko. Yeah, so the question I was going to ask. Um, they say they're not going to underestimate you, but what do you feel your chances are going into this matchup? Do you think you're the favorites? We're not going to be favorites. I think it's going to be 50-50. It's just a mirror and it's going to be ops RNG, I think, because we're like equally skilled. I'm not going to underestimate them, because they're really good, but we're really good as well. Także nie mają zamiaru nie doceniać przeciwników. Wygląda na to, że według nich e, siły rozkładają się e, porówno. Także e, będzie ciężki mecz, będzie bardzo ciekawy mecz. So guys, good luck and uh, we hope you can maybe get your first spot at the uh, BlizzCon 2011. So, big round of applause once again, Victorinox. Right, and this is the arena. As I said before, it is two layered. We have a bridge, uh, which is um, a lot of the times the main part where the action takes place. Um, although you also have some fights at the bottom, uh, more, more so that we have two warlocks in the team, so they normally set their portals up and then just jump down to like get out of all the danger. And uh, yeah, so there are lots of things which can happen on that map. And uh, maybe you want to talk a little bit about that. From the view of a player, how do you feel on that map? Yeah, this this map is like the king of warlocks, basically. Like, you, you put your portal at the top, and if you ever get in trouble, you can jump down, and, and that's what we're going to be looking for a lot here. So, if, if we focus a lot on Drain Training and, and Fabio, that's that you're going to see them jump up a lot and down if, if they actually get pressured. The shamans are mainly going to be hanging back just to heal a team, or, or charging in like a madman to get some hexes off, and it's 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 it, it, it all comes down to the, to the battle of the bridge, basically. If, if a team has to retreat, that that's why it kind of goes wrong. For them. Yeah, and Fab is talking a lot of damage. Like, seriously, he had just had to kind of get away and uh, <laughs> get still so much pressure onto him. Uh, though, in, uh, in Game Star, like, okay, who, which one was that? As they said, uh, they always switch the names. In Game Star must be. In Game Star, that is another. He's, he's called another, that is actually. Another, yeah, yes. another, exactly. Okay, In Game Star is another normally. 
Um, I'm just going to call him in-game star because I can't read and actually think at the same time. It's not possible. And uh, yeah, but uh, now really Showtime is able to put lots of pressure onto Victorinox. Like uh, DK is a little bit low. Garu uh, also takes quite a lot of damage, so uh, has to take care of him and his teammate. Uh, meanwhile, uh, the other Shaman and the other DK from Showtime also get quite a lot of damage. And Garu, uh, Garu is dropping low again, so uh, kind of has to get out of that danger zone there, but uh, Dolly just runs back in there. And yeah, you're, you're, get, you're having to see Gary even use his bowling totem here, so you're going to be, they're gonna, they, the team of another are going to be looking to do a lot of switches onto the Shaman, because he he's definitely vulnerable now, he's used most of his cooldowns, his trinket is down, his, his stone, stone form is down, and he's used his totem, so he's going to have to watch out the whole game now, and uh, he might even go down right here, and I think that's what's going to happen, it's going to be game, and it's going to be one out to the team of another. Yeah, that was an immense amount of pressure going down on like both teams really uh, first like it, it looked like victorious kind of uh, kind of headed on uh, on uh, in-game uh, star and glyptic and uh, now it, the other shaman also went down so this game is not over yet we just have to see how long the starvian can survive here drain train is still doing quite good there in that fight but Bastarian is dying as well now so it's a 2v1 uh, let's see how op warlock actually can be on his own probably not as much for him to do there and uh, yeah no he is eventually gonna die at some point but the, still that was an interesting turn that uh, Glyptic still went down yeah so I would say that that did for a good first round there so yeah. All right, and we gonna be we gonna be in the Dalaran Arena now. Uh, this is an arena which lots of players don't really like because of all the uh, out of uh, LOS like behind yeah, the, those the boxes. boxes can be so, really buggy at times. Um, yeah, mostly like if you if you play against casters, uh, etc., that can be really really annoying. So uh, we shall see how those two will do. And I'm gonna zoom out a little bit more to see more of that action. Drain Trainee is getting quite a lot of damage, and we're gonna switch on to him to uh, take a look at how he tries to get out of it uh, using the unstable affliction onto the decay from a Showtime. And uh, yeah, he's dropping um, down on the lower level now. Also two tiered. Um, Arena, as we obviously can see now, uh, they switched on to Garu again, like the same thing, but this time they went on the Warlock Forest and then went on to the Shaman, who used his Trinket already and his Racial as well, and also quite some of his bigger cooldowns. So uh, we shall see if uh, he will survive another really big amount of pressure. Meanwhile, they put a lot of pressure back onto uh, the other DK. Uh, in game star is uh, just death, uh, death called right now. And I got uh, Howled of Terror, uh, aka Featured, uh, right after that. Uh, still didn't use any of his trinkets, and uh, Glyptic is doing a pretty good job in uh, keeping him alive there. Yeah, definitely. Um, I think I think Showtime are in pretty good shape here. I mean, they, they definitely have the main pressure of the game so far. And Garo is in trouble once again. He's actually dropping down to like 50k HP here. He's getting a hex from Glyptic. It, it's, it's, he's going, it's going lower and lower. Uh, this, okay, he's getting himself up again, and uh, as I said, he doesn't have any big cooldowns anymore. Like seriously, Nature Swiftness is gone, and, and Hex is gone, and uh, yeah, he just really, really needs his team now to peel off that DK in-game star from him. And uh, they're doing a good job also in putting lots of damage onto in-game star, but he still uh, wouldn't let go. And this looks a little bit like a leg or disconnect, I don't know. Okay, it seems like we have a disconnect there. Okay, little issue, but um, it really looked good so far, I'd yeah, say. Yeah, <laughs> I don't think the team of Showtime can be too happy with that. I mean, Garo is on the brink of dying. So, guys, just a quick update. After the drop in that round, we had the admins and the team captain of each team. They went and studied the replay, and the decision is as follows the game will be replayed. again and we see Showtime here on the left hand side and Victorinox on the right hand side still both playing Shadowcleave here and um, yeah you're obviously not too happy well, to not see a Paladin I, I but we still have another round after that one yeah so. exactly I was, I was thinking a little bit about it and they may have been forced to like play the same setups again seeing as it is actually a replay of the last game so I'm yeah, not, I'm not, I'm not too I mean, it wouldn't, it, yeah, it, wouldn't, yeah, yeah. it wouldn't actually be fair to exactly. like, just change the setup there so uh, it might actually be good to see this um, this time again and uh, yeah I'm, I'm 
it, it's hard to actually take a bet on because like um, obviously Showtime really dominated the last game uh, yeah, or it seemed or at least the first game was definitely in their favor so uh, let's see if this time if uh, Victorinox is uh, losing if they actually gonna change and uh, go for the Paladin there and uh, yeah Fab of the team Showtime is getting a little bit pressure already on but uh, all healable uh, Hex on Glip and um, we're gonna switch on to uh, Great trainer I actually wanted. There we go. Uh, yeah, see that he also has uh, Fab as his target, and uh, they're yeah. still pressuring well, him. And what they're gonna do now is to try to put a lot of depression on the wall, and then probably gonna be looking to switch on Glyptic. We already see Garrow taking a lot of damage again. He's already used Stone Form, but he has he actually managed to save Trinket. But there he goes, and he's still he's still like half HP, and I, I don't know, I don't know, I can't see another right now, so I'm not sure how it's going. But the pet is still on him, but he's, he seems to be somewhat safe behind the pillar. Stranglade is now unturned, though, and the team of Glyptic is, is looking rather safe. So Glyptic is definitely doing a great job. He still is stone form left, and he's looking he's looking safe. Sultan is dropping low now as well, and there's like dots spread on every target, like everything pretty much is on stable fix, and, and trinkets have been used, and this, I, I think they're going to go down right here. And the anti magic zone uh, went up as well, and uh, so far, like. A Showtime is putting such a huge amount of pressure onto the team of Victorinox and they're all dropping lower and lower and it, it seems like it, it's getting really hard for Gary to actually heal against that and I mean he um, he already used uh, Nature Swiftness he will have some stuff up again anytime soon though like that that cooldown is ready in a minute so he just has to look to survive for that amount of time and now they go on to the DK Bastarvian is getting quite a lot of damage there and uh, is he actually even close to uh, zoom out a little bit there there we go, and uh, now, oh my god, this could get actually really, really close, and can he be able to heal him up again? And he just got away there with a uh, like, really, really little HP, that is one crit, and he will go down, and he is down now! So, he just... Okay, the other one just leaves the game, so obviously they saw this is not making sense anymore, so that round is going on. I was expecting to see a split to this, but uh, if that's what they feel most comfortable in doing, then they're going to have to stay with that. And we head into that game any seconds, it's still Victorinus, uh, Victorinox against Showtime. And we have a 2-0 lead by Showtime in exactly this setup. So they didn't um, actually end up deciding to like switch and take a pally into the comp. And, uh, we shall see if they will play out for them. I mean, maybe they were like just nervous. Maybe they, they were thinking about it. I'm, I'm pretty sure they talked about it at least. And, yeah. uh, maybe they just like saw one big mistake and they're trying to make up for that. Like, I, think I, don't that know. I personally think they should have taken like a few minutes to like really gather themselves, you know, and like mm. discuss what's going to happen. But maybe they're just feeling confident and maybe they know what they're doing wrong and they just want to go and fix it in this game. So we're just going to have to see what happens. Okay, and they are uh, putting quite some pressure right now onto the uh, DK here, like Vistarion was just in a hex, and uh, Drain Train is getting some damage, Gary uh, is also getting some damage, and uh, the other team, Showtime, is uh, still doing quite good there. And Drain Train is uh, taking a lot more damage than his opponent right there, and uh, Drain Train is going low now and dies! That went so fast, and I actually didn't see if there were like any hex. Up. Was there a hex up or something I, I, I on his didn't teammate? Even know it happened so fast. I didn't. That was. He, he just, just dropped. dropped low, so so very fast that that was just basically in an instant. And uh, Gary is just leaving the game. I had enough of that, and that means the three zero for Showtime now. So that means we do have the winner, the first one on his road to BlizzCon, go, going into the finals for tomorrow, winning this. Uh, Winner bracket final here, and uh, that was uh, a little bit one-sided. Yeah, but they, also they look really happy when they won that, though. Yeah, they I do. I wouldn't say that much. They do look happy, but uh, that, those games, it must have been so nerve-wracking, like to, to wait all day and they actually yeah. play, and then play on stage and then have a mirror match, which is uh, not really helping the case, as it's always like a bit, little bit of a of a scary thing to actually do so, uh, but they they did manage it, and um, I think still like of course kudos to Victorinox, they still did a good. They did a good I mean, job today. Like overall, you guys have not seen out, but they've been playing great all day. And, yes, uh, exactly. And, and I think definitely the stage comes in as a big factor in this matchup. I mean, I don't think they played the A game in this match. I mean, compared to some of the games they played upstairs earlier today, I mean, it's not it's not the team I know basically. And and definitely like with Fabio and another on the team and the newcomer Glyptic. I mean, I think that's a huge huge advantage at least. Yeah, yeah. it is. Like th there's just so many factors which actually really going into that. Um, the whole game they're gonna play and I uh, still like they did good today and um, 
I think they came pretty far. I mean, it was yeah, I mean, they're not out of it yet at all. I mean, they're going to go into the lower bracket, and I'd say pretty much right now they're still the favorite to like go through. The, the team of Dakrov, the MLS, the Nor team, or whatever they're called. No, uh, no I, I can't, I can't pronounce that. I don't know why they name that because I can't say it. I, I was <laughs>